there, Jessica Riggs, Mrs. Washington 2012 here, talking a little bit about my experience in, in the Mrs. America pageant. I'm preparing for the national competition. It's going to take place August 22nd through the 29th in Tucson, Arizona at the Lowe's Ventana Canyon Resort. I am so excited about this. I've been working towards this for about five years now, so it's the pinnacle of my pageant career, and I'm ready to bring home the title to uh, Washington State. We've never had a Mrs. Washington become a Mrs. America in 34 years, so I'm hoping to change that this year and uh, bring home that title. I would like to talk a little bit about my sponsors. I am so thankful to Buari Northwest, for sponsoring me uh, in my weight loss as well as putting me in a commercial, giving me a lot of exposure as Mrs. Washington 2012. Also want to thank Julep Nail Parlor. Uh, they have been uh, just totally supportive in providing gifts for my fellow pageant contestants that I have to take with me to the national competition. So I uh, just wanted to make sure that I acknowledge that because without them, uh, my reign would not be as successful as it has been. So we're gonna talk a little bit to Davies, who is the founder and CEO of ATV Channel 77. Uh, we wanna know, we wanna know what's going on and what's up next for the network and how it's growing. So Davies, tell us, how have you pre prepared for this? Hi, Jessica. Thank you for having me. Um, that's a good question. You know, we've been uh, getting ready for the past, I want to say, three years now. Um, we started slowly, slowly, you know, doing smaller productions. And uh, we just kept going into the community to get uh, the feedback from everyone. And uh, we learned from the mistakes that we made. And uh, we have uh, we feel comfortable right now that we are ready to go out in the community and actually give the people what they need. Uh, this is a good opportunity for everyone to um, speak their minds, um, bring their talents, uh, bring their stories, uh, bring their um, ambitions and uh, just put them into use. And then uh, I think this is a good platform for everyone to actually show up and, uh, you know, make use of the, the, the chance and the platform that we have today. We have prepared for this by asking, you know, people in the community, their feedback, um, asking for ways and means of how we can improve the whole production and even also finding great stories. Sometimes it's not simple just to put something interesting for the people to watch. So this is, uh, um, you know, something that has taken time to take off, but uh, we, we are thankful to God that finally we get to, you know, go into live production. So you have some upcoming productions. Who are some of the people we can expect to see in your next venture? Uh, it's it's a long list of people that we're working with, and uh, we've had overwhelming support from the community. Uh, we've been working with uh, the politicians. Obviously, they they help us in a way that they they guide us um, uh, through the directions of which we decide to take. They give us the their the opinions. They they you know at least help out to 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 bring in. You know, there's that side of. Um, the community where people have to you know learn certain things that they otherwise wouldn't do like voting for instance uh, if there are issues that are affecting them in the community they have to come out and uh, you know bring those issues to the politicians obviously but it's not every time that you see people doing that so that's why we have the politicians behind us uh, secondly we are working with uh, a team of medical doctors who are constantly you know you'll be seeing them on the shore they have um, a lot of reports, research, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, I guess, lessons to, to teach to people. Otherwise, who wouldn't get a chance to, to hear from them directly? So it's very, very exciting. And also we have uh, community members, regular community members. They have stories. They have uh, opinions. They have their voices, which you can never get a chance to hear from them if you don't make the first step to try and approach them and find out exactly what they're trying to do or what their experiences are. So you'll be able to see all that and then you'll be able to see uh, a lot of talented young men and women uh, from uh, music, uh, pageantry, uh, gospel, uh, you name it. So there's a lot of people in the community that are doing a lot of good things and this is an opportunity for everyone to, to bring their talents together and uh, use the platform. So how will Ch Channel ATV impact others? What is its primary goal? Yeah, when, when we created uh, Channel ATV, 
we thought about one thing that can bring people together. Uh, we have a lot of divisions uh, within our community because of maybe um, political views, political backgrounds, um, uh, maybe even uh, you know experiences in life or even our culture. And so we're hoping that by giving people you know this chance to talk about things openly, uh, share with others, we could actually cross the uh, the you know the bridge and have. Uh, people communicate in a special way and actually bring their stories together, tell their own stories. And uh, I think by doing that, you know, it will bring people closer than they've been before. And then also, um, we're hoping that, you know, people will be open enough to share with others. And so far, the response has been great, and uh, I'm just excited. I can't wait to see just, <laughs> you know, how far we go with it. So who are some of the current sponsors of the network, and how are they helping you? We have a, a lot of sponsors actually helping us. We, there's a lot of good people in the community. When we started, you know, putting the whole thing together, they, they were watching. They were trying to see, you know, um, how serious people are, you know, in, in putting the whole thing together. So we have um, uh, the city of Renton. We have at least uh, we've worked with uh, three city council members. We've worked with the mayor in SeaTac and the deputy mayor in SeaTac. We've worked with... Uh, uh, the U.S. Marines, uh, the U.S. soldiers, and the U.S. Navy, and they all, you know, uh, sponsor sponsor us in a different way um, to make everything possible. Then we also have pe people in the community who are just uh, coming up with uh, different ideas and different ways to contribute and, you know, just assist, be it financial, be it uh, uh, time, be it um, just ideas and different things. So we consider all those things to uh, be part of sponsorship. And... Uh, uh, we are open. Uh, if anybody has an idea, if anybody has, you know, any suggestions, uh, they're more than welcome to contact us and uh, we'll be more than glad to work with them. So we want to know when working with the pageant community or even musicians, what are some of the challenges you face when working with the different types of talent that you do? I, I, I honestly don't look at them to be challenges because those are just... Uh, they are expected, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, being a producer, you, you, you have to be open enough to work with other people. And now other producers think it's a challenge. They may look at it like it's a challenge, but to me, I don't look at it like it's a challenge. When I work with musicians, I, I like to work with musicians who are just starting today and musicians who've had all the experience in life and, uh, because that's the only way you can grow. So when, they, when you get a chance to work with them, they uh, bring something new each and every time. And let's say you, you, you're working on a, a specific song, or maybe a video, so to speak. They already have a concept. So as a producer, I think it's important that you, you know, sit down with them, look at their concept, and then on top of what they're trying to do, you add a little bit of flavor to that to make it you know, um, you know, smear and, and just make it look beautiful. But sometimes you know, to communicate with them, it's, uh, it, it can be a little bit, you know, challenging unless you you talk to them and then you listen. And I think the key word is actually listening. Now, as far as working with uh, you know uh, the young ladies with uh, involved with the pageant, it's also a little bit tricky because you have to invest a lot of time to know them. Uh, you realize that every time you have a, a crowd of people, uh, they are always you know, on different levels in life. And uh, they may not be in the same age group, they may not be of the same background, so you need to take a lot of time to understand each and every single one of them. Because if they're given a task, for instance, um, not everyone is gonna look at it like, okay, I really need to do this. Some of them, they'll look at it like it's a job. Some of them, they'll look at it like it's an opportunity. Some of them, they may look at it as something else. So you, you really have to invest the time to uh, explain to them. You take your time, you understand that, you know, they may not fully understand it the way it's, you know, the, the task is designed for them to, to, to work out. Uh, so again, that's not a challenge. It's, it's just something that you have to prepare when you're getting into this business. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't trade it in for anything. It's a, it's a privilege to, to, to work with uh, the young talent that you'll be able to see on this production and on, on this channel. And uh, again, I'm really excited. So I can't wait to see, you know, for you guys to see everything. Well, thank you, Jessica, for having me. And to uh, our viewers, I, I really appreciate all the efforts that you've made to make this possible. And uh, I'm just uh, very, very thankful to God for this opportunity. And uh, speaking of uh, the African community, uh, on behalf of our African community, we are so thankful for everyone who've supported us 
uh, people who've believed in us and uh, people who are just doing everything they can to make this possible. Again, I'm, I'm on behalf of our team, I'm really, really, really grateful and uh, we can't wait to uh, give you the quality productions that you deserve. Thank you so much. Well, I hope you enjoyed that question and answer session with Davies, our founder and CEO of Channel ATV. We want to thank our sponsors and all of our producers for making this possible. Please enjoy the upcoming productions, and we look forward to seeing you soon.